Hey guys, Coin Explorer here, back again with another Coin Lots video. Uh, I saw these coins on my Facebook Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Town yard sale. It's kind of like you know a online yard sale. Anybody posts something, you know they're selling something or they're looking for something, and people buy it. Well, I did see this this one ad for you know for for these coins. I'm about to. Well, that's what I got for seventy five dollars. Now, I think. Maybe not may have not been worth seventy five dollars, and I'll show you here in a second. And this is kind of a lesson for everybody that you gotta be careful of what you're buying and who you're buying it from. The lady was very nice, very respectful. She didn't seem to rush me like you know those people who try to scam you. You know she seemed pretty you know intelligent. She seemed you know nice enough. But I want you all to so be careful out there because this is what I got. And that. The, the, they won't be worth much, but what I have here is what it's known as a a caped bust, which is kind of like a it's kind of like their version of a nickel. And let me show you something. You can barely see anything. 1835, but the face is completely worn away, or it looks like it's been melted away. Here's the back. And so that's what I got. And hold on just a second. Then I got two caped, I mean, two bust, uh, what were they called? Uh, caped bust half, half dimes. No dates. That one complete. You know, worn off, and then there's this one. Then I have a 1903 V nickel. Now, what I'm about to show you here in a second is the reason why I bought this collection, and there's two other coins. The reason I bought this, the first reason was because I have a 1913 Buffalo nickel which I need for the collection. It's not a 13D and it's not the lowered ground so it's not worth that much but it's still needed. And then down here we have a hold 1842 seated Liberty uh, dime and it's been hold which means someone wore it as a necklace or a bracelet and I always love these because they kind of tell a story of of the person who wore it you know who wore this coin will it you know was it just for wearing as decoration or was it actually worn so it wouldn't be lost and they could use it for monetary value or monetary use then we have an 1892 barber dime Again, faded. And here's another reason why I bought this because there was this 1927S silver half dollar. And then here's the second, and here's the third reason there was a 1921 Morgan dollar. This was just for the collection something just to have and uh, I kinda counted up all of it and this is all in I, 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 I guess I graded it in G4 good condition it came out to ninety three dollars I could e I could I could possibly make a profit of ninety three dollars off all this these probably not but this uh, this and this, that and that, I could possibly make my money back. I don't really want to, but maybe I maybe I should take it into the dealer and see what I can get for it. But um, who knows? Now, this is also just kind of like a warning, guys, to be careful what you're buying, to make sure you know who you're. Sorry about that, guys. Memory issues, but um. Just letting you know, 
be careful who you buy it from. Make sure the person you're buying it from is well trusted. I got this off, not eBay, so I couldn't really check and see what people were saying about the person. So, I mean, I still kind of came out with a good haul, but I still kind of didn't. Just kind of a life lesson to learn. Anyway, guys, uh, I just want to let you one thing. I'm not disappointed in what I found and what I got. I kind of, I do like it. I really do. Just letting you guys know that, hey, make sure you watch out for that stuff. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like, that comment, and that subscribe for more future content from me, Corn Explorer. Thank you very much for watching. Corn Explorer out.